Good afternoon. This is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Friday, July 14th, 2006. Market is just closed, and we had another very ugly session for the bulls today, and that concluded a very ugly session for the week. Now, the NASDAQ composite I'm looking at right now, we'd uh, previously seen a little bit of support here at 2090 earlier, and that clearly broke down yesterday, and we got a continuation of that move lower. We've broken very clearly these uptrend lines here and we did get a test of this low from July of last year this low was 2025 today we hit a low of 2027 one thing I want to point out again when I what I, what I'd shown you earlier in the week was that you know from these moves these failed moves come fast moves and if we look at the way the market did that if we look at this high right here we see that there's some pretty good symmetry to this market move. This is about 2235 up here, whereas this low right in here was about 2065. So the market lost about 170 points. The NASDAQ composite is uh, lost about 170 points on that move. Now, we look back to the high from the Federal Reserve right here at about 2190 and where we got down to today, let's just call it 2030, it was 2027. But here we can see we've lost 160 points on, on this move lower. So pretty good symmetry right in there, suggesting maybe that the, the, the length of these two legs is going to be approximately equal. Um, let's, you know, let's not draw any conclusions from that yet because there's clearly no sign of a bottom in here. Um, you know, we don't have anything suggesting that the market is nearing any uh, level of accumulation. And unless we get some kind of resolution to this Middle East crisis going on there, um, you know, real quick, uh, I don't see what's going to turn this market around. I don't think that, uh, you know, I, I don't think that earnings are going to be the big catalyst anymore. I think the the shift of the market's attention focused from the potential of earnings to what's going to happen in the Middle East. And it continues to be a stock picker's market. And this week we had some great ideas in the market. So you should have been able to make some money in here this week with some of the ideas that I've laid out for you. Hopefully you have. Um, looking at the S&P 500 again, you know, the market trapped in a lot of people up above that 200-day moving average. And once it fell through there, that's really what's been going on. Why did the market break down? You know, let's call it the Middle East uh, concerns, but because we're in a bear market and news and surprises tends to follow the direction of the trend. The trend is lower. The only thing here is the S&P 500 didn't make a lower low, whereas the NASDAQ did. So it continues to outperform, but again, relative outperformance, uh, if you're long, doesn't help because you're still losing money. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ideas that I've mentioned here in the last couple of days. And then I'm going to get out of here quick and head up to the mountains where uh, I'll be spending the weekend. I will be back Sunday with another video, though. So we had looked at uh, CNC, symbol Centene Corporation, and we'd been short this one from 2260. And this stock has been dropping really nicely here the last couple of days. Yesterday, I suggested that we lower our stop to $21.22 right around here. Now, we had an initial sell-off right here this morning. Hopefully, you were uh, able to look at this and say, well, here's a lower low, and then raise your stop to this point right here, which is why I think we got that little pop, because I think other people were in there putting their stops above that level. So I think he should have been stopped out. If you're not out of this stock, then I would suggest your stop goes above this level right here. But I'm going to discontinue to update uh, Centene, symbol CNC, and you should have locked in a nice couple dollar gain in there from, for that stock. Um, next one, we had looked at Amgen, symbol AMGN. Amgen, uh, we had gotten short yesterday up around this area right up in here, about $66.15 is where I uh, said that it looked like it made sense to get that short off. Uh, on the daily time frame, you can see it's dropping down to where we were hoping it would. And it's just a, a real nice and neat downtrend in here. Looking at this five-minute time frame, where should we put our stop? Well, look at these lower highs, and that's a bad print. Look at these lower highs and lower lows. So right now, I think your stop goes above this afternoon's high right around here, right about 60 uh, I, I put a number on it, I'd say 6470 is where your stop ought to go for Amgen, and you should be able to continue to hold that one uh, if it keeps dropping. So uh, what did I, I just said uh, 6470, okay. 
Now, for the couple of, for the stocks uh, that we looked at last night, I suggested perhaps looking at LBIX. I said I'm not very thrilled about the ideas from the long side, and I got a couple of emails. Hey, you know what about liquidity in these issues? And clearly, you know some of these stocks are illiquid, especially the the long side uh, stocks I'm looking at. And I do consider volume, but when when there's no big volume stocks that look bullish. You know, then I'm going to mention the ones that have lighter volume. And if uh, if you're seeing just low volume stocks, it's typically a general reflection of the overall sickness of the market in here. So LBIX, um, it abo opened above the range that we were looking for. So again, I don't want you chasing these stocks when they gap up. It came down. It it, it just went right through where that stop would have been. So I'm going to say there was no play in LBIX today because it didn't meet our entry parameters. CYBS, Cyber Source. We're looking to buy that one on strength. That strength never occurred. Let's take that off the list for right now, too. BRLI, Bioreference Labs. We were looking for a move above $21.55. That didn't occur. That one's off the list. VeriSign, symbol VRCN, Victor Rogers, Sam Nancy. We were looking for a rally initially on this stock. Um, it just fell apart, so no entry on that one. Next, we were looking at um, uh, BEAV. We were looking at BE Aerospace. And again, we were looking for the stock to show a little bit of strength before we got short. It just had an initial drop, so uh, my chart's not pulling up. But that one didn't meet our parameters either. Let's try to take a look here now of the chart of AMR, American Airlines. American Airlines, we were looking for a little bit of a rally. It just fell apart. Um, unfortunately, I can't take credit for this one because it didn't meet the, the entry parameters that I was looking for. And if it doesn't meet my entry parameters, I'm not interested in it. I want to play the market on my terms. That way I can control risk. And that's the attitude I think that you ought to adopt as well. Last one we had looked at as a potential short was Chesapeake Energy, symbol CHK. This one, we were looking for a little bit of strength. Uh, it got this big gap higher up here. Uh, I did enter a short right initially right up there, and I covered a little too quickly. Um, I was just trying to fade that initial strength. But, you know, right in here um, is where you probably ought to have shorted the stock if, if you were interested in shorting it. Now, a lot of people aren't interested in shorting the stock because it's an uh, uh, energy-related issue. And to that I say, you know, the chart looks horrible. So... Um, you know, if we do get a resolution of the Middle East, people are going to be dumping these uh, energy stocks real quickly. I think there's a lot of risk in them, but uh, risk goes both ways. If you're in this stock short still, I would say your stop goes above here, worst case scenario. So I'll be back this weekend with another video where I'll slow down and kind of review the trends a little bit after a little bit more thought. Thanks for your time and have a great weekend. I'm out of here.